Thank you. Welcome on board, Pirocha Godrej, Executive Chairman at Godrej Properties, and talk about their numbers. Pirocha, great to have you on ED now. Just going through your numbers and your average realizations have come down. Probably, I guess, it was the change in products, uh, product mix. Will this be, though, an ongoing occurrence moving forward as well? Uh, great to be with you. I think we're actually very happy with uh, with the quarter gone by from a sales perspective. We've launched, we've notched our highest ever booking value number, of just over three thousand two hundred and fifty crore for the quarter. As you rightly guessed, I think the average sales price is really a function of the product mix. We had a large percentage of our sales come in from Ahmedabad this quarter, which is a typically lower price point uh, market, and I think that's uh, that's the effect you've noticed. Um, I think for for the full year, though, we should see uh, realizations um, go up year on year. We're certainly seeing at the project level uh, that taking place on a, on a consistent level. Okay, so that was about uh, the entire sales momentum as well as the average realizations. But one thing that really grabbed my attention in the earnings this time around is the big surge that we have seen um, in the debt as well. We'll come to that, but let me first uh, talk about the pre-sales figure as well. Because for FY23, you had given a pre-sales guidance of 10,000 crore. Are you on track to meet that? And what could be this number in FY24? Yes, I think we've done about 82% of the full year guidance we'd given by the end of the third quarter. So we're quite optimistic of going well past the 10,000 crore annual booking guidance we'd given. I think exactly what the number will be will, of course, depend on the number of launches that happen and how, how they are received. But I think uh, we're quite confident that this year will beat uh, initial expectations. Um, I think for our FY24, we typically wait until the end of the financial year before we give guidance. But on a broad broad level, I can say that you know the, the opportunity for the company is to uh, grow on a compounded basis by at least 20% a year over these next few years. So you know hopefully um, that is something we can deliver next year as well. Significant, uh, Roshan, there is significant increase in quarter and quarter debt at 2,500 crore versus 1,300 crore. What has led to that? When we'd raised some equity a couple of years ago, the, in, the entire intent of doing that was to be able to quite aggressively invest into new opportunities given the kind of uh, growth we think the sector will see over the coming years. And I think this past quarter has probably been our best ever quarter for business development. We added nine new projects. The future booking value we uh, hope to or expect to get from these projects is about 23,000 crore. Uh, so a lot of the investment for that has happened during the quarter, which is why debt has gone up. Um, if you look at our overall debt, we still very moderate levels. As you said, it's about 2,500 crore of net debt. Our uh, gearing ratio currently is just under 0 0.3 is to 1. Um, we've actually guided that we would like to operate with a gearing ratio of anywhere from 0 0.5 is to 1 to 1 is to 1, as we think that is the level that sort of best balances the opportunity and making sure where we you know where we're going after the kind of growth opportunity the market presents but also doing it in a prudent manner so i would say we are still in investment mode and would expect that debt number to inch up um, as we make new investments over the coming year so what's the debt level you are comfortable with and what's the maximum level you think you're going to hit on an absolute basis well, our, our net worth today is, is, is just under 9,000 crore, and I mentioned a 0 0.5 to 1 is to 1 uh, gearing ratio. So I think that would you know, imply uh, anywhere between 4,500 crore to 8 9,000 crore of net debt is where the company would be happy operating. Of course, I don't think we would go to the higher end of that range very quickly. Um, but, but, but certainly, I think that we, we think currently the, the company's balance sheet, if anything, is, is under leverage. So we will look for opportunities for new investment, and we're very happy with the, the recent traction we've seen on that front in the third quarter. Okay, Parosha, we let you go on that note. Appreciate you joining us on the show. So overall, decent quarter coming in, though debt has gone up, uh, but the management is pointing out that the balance sheet is still quite comfortable. 